that's a big story which is coming in. Very interestingly, Congress now is also worried about uh, impending rebellion. Interestingly, let's also remember, remind our viewers. Let's also remind our viewers that there are similar. There have been a similar counter strategy put in place by the BJP in the BJP too. 105 of these MLAs are rumored to have been carted off and now Congress is fearing rebellion within its own camp. In fact, one of Congress's top troubled shooter, Kamal Nath, has been air dashed already to Mumbai to take stock of the situation in the Congress camp. He is also expected later on to move across to Surat and try and reach out to the rebel MLAs. However, what really could be the outcome of that? Well, the numbers are going to hold the clue for all of this. The numbers, however, are not getting much clarity. In fact, let me go across to Shivani, who's joining us with all the details. Shivani, it seems that Congress now worries whether or not its own flock is in place. Well, definitely, and that is why we'll see. I'll tell you the numbers mega here. Importantly, we have to understand this crucial number politics here mm -hmm. because the Congress has 44 seats, 44 MLAs, but they got only 41 votes. It means that three more MLAs of their own have crossed vote in this particular, uh, you know, MLC election. Same was the situation with Shiv Sena. And that is why there is a lack of, uh, you know, trust within the party of Congress that who are those particular MLAs, those have not voted for their own party. And that's why we see this three cross, uh, cross voting that comes from Congress brings a lot of confusion. Well, we'll just come back to Shivani. Let me go across to Madhav Das Gopalakrishnan. He's joining us from Delhi. And we've seen a lot happening in the national capital, isn't it, uh, Madhav? Tell us about how Sharad Pawar may be playing a very crucial role when it comes to keeping the Aghari together. However, today during the press conference, you repeatedly asked him about the numbers. He refused to clarify. Well, Sharad Pawar knows that... Uh... Uh, things are beyond his control given that it's not just his party's MLAs who are the ones who are rebelling it is of an ally that is the Shiv Sena and this uh, perhaps uh, would be something that Shiv Sena itself would be best placed to handle and that is why Sharad Pawar of course being uh, uh, a very old and veteran hand at uh, this kind of coalition politics and the politics of make and break is uh, someone who would be you know uh, very well aware of of course he uh, did mention that he believes that this is not going to uh, you know, make any difference as far as the government is concerned. But when repeatedly asked well, about sorry to interrupt. You stay with us. Big breaking news, which is coming in. Milan Narvekar and Pranesh also joins me now. Milan Narvekar, the emissary of Uddhav Thakre, was sent across. This was the last ditch effort by the Shiv Sena to reach out to the rebels. However, unfortunately, it seems things aren't going too well for the Shiv Sena. His PA has now left Surat empty-handed. Narvekar, remember, had gone there to try and woo back, and he at least convinced Ek. Not Shinde and the rest to speak to Uddhav Thakre, but that Pranesh didn't seem to have happened. The desperation clearly showing Shivani now joining us with the details. Shivani, despite waiting there outside the hotel for three hours, Shinde snubbed team Uddhav. Well, definitely here, and that is why we saw that how earlier Egna Shinde did not allow for this meeting to happen uh, with Milin Narvika. But it clearly also significantly shows that if Milin has reached there, then definitely it is CM Uddhav Thakre's words. Those are reaching at the doorsteps of, uh, uh, you know, Egna Shinde in Surat's hotel. And also in this particular very small meeting, we are given to understand that Milin have given all of, uh, you know, his uh, uh, patent, all of his statement that CM Uddhav Thakre is trying to convince uh, Ekanath Shinde with because most of the MLAs are in the pocket of uh, Ekanath Shinde. Those have traveled through the roadways when the flights were not available. So it showcases that how people are dedicated to uh, Shiv Sena. And that is a Milit Narvika reach there. All of the terms and conditions and the situation, those were explained by Milit Narvika to Ekanath Shinde, were not accepted by uh, Mr. Shinde, where he has said that he is not going. Okay, stay with us, uh, Arunil. Uh, now, Shinde for CM posters seen in Thane by Shinde supporters.
Well, well, Pranay, these posters were put up on June 9th, and it, the supporters of Ikna Shinde have always said that he is the next CM of Maharashtra, and probably he has acted on the similar lines. Uh, he basically has caught uh, the entire Matushri, basically the camp of CM Uddhav Thakre, completely unaware about it. They had no clue that so many MLAs were supporting Ikna Shinde because if you look at during the Rajya Sabha elections or during the MLC polls, it was Ekna Shinde who was coordinating with the Shiv Sena MLS where MLS should be put up, which hotels uh, they should be put up. He was basically speaking to them on a very individual and now there comes a major shock for CM Uddhav Thakre and his close confidence when Ekna Shinde has gone to Surat with as many as more than 30 MLAs from uh, the Shiv Sena party. We understand that only 16 MLAs are remaining uh, with CM Uddhav Thakre. Now he's going to have a meeting at 7 p.m. Uh, with the Shiv Sena party leaders as well as okay. uh, his MLA. Sharad Pawar is expected to... Now,